Hey, what's happening, everybody? Welcome back to Football Therapy with me, your host, Jan. I hope you're all doing well today, staying self-isolated and keeping safe, clean and productive. Today, we're going to be talking about Willian's comments and how he's pretty much confirmed his Chelsea exit this summer. So that's both Pedro and Willian who have said adios to Stamford Bridge. And although Chelsea have brought in Hakim Ziyech, who could play on the right wing, as well as the sort of attacking midfielder, Chelsea is still short a winger. So, you'd imagine Chelsea are indeed in the market for another winger. And I want to take an opportunity to talk about a few different candidates with you guys and offer my opinion on the each player and how perhaps realistic each acquisition is or would be. Times are indeed changing at Chelsea Football Club and it's going to be a new dawn one day when things return to normal. And to be honest, the change of the guard at Chelsea, no Hazard, Willian, Diego Costa, Pedro, Fabregas, John Terry, Cahill, it's pretty strange now, it's a whole new Chelsea. So it's going to be interesting to talk about and speculate some new players to play on the wing for Frank Lampard's blue and white army. But let's talk about all these people who watch my videos and don't subscribe to the channel. I've reminded you the last couple of videos, the majority of my viewers are not subscribed. You watch the content, but you don't subscribe. Why don't you subscribe, man? If you're gonna keep coming back, just hit the button and, you know, like the video, huh? All right, let's get on with it. Ah, <sighs> Willian, man. Dude, Willian. Let's take a second to appreciate Willian. Very, very talented baller. Silky, silky abilities. No one can deny this. I've seen it. He is a very talented footballer. He is a very hard worker when he's not having the odd little strop on the pitch. Believe it or not, Chelsea were lucky to have Willian. If you go across football Twitter and look at Chelsea fans, a lot of them are like, get rid of him. I'm so happy he's going. And he does split opinion. He divides opinion. And I get it, man. I'm not going to, like, you know, slate the people who are frustrated with him. I don't believe in slagging off any Chelsea players. But I understand the frustration the perhaps how he can break down attacks in the final third lack of goals and assists and yeah i get it but he has been quality he's worked very hard and there's a reason why frank lampard wanted him to get his contract extended at chelsea football club remember he works very very hard this season for frank lampard and he sort of set the benchmark for old lamps so to show the other players look you gotta be doing this to get into the team and that's a healthy positive good thing willian has been talking to different media outlets of late just before he went to brazil or perhaps in brazil that's where he's at now with his family while he's self-isolating. Willian said a bunch of different things to different football media news outlets, but he said one thing that's pretty categorical. He told Expendiente Football, with Chelsea, it's over. Pretty clinical, huh? So Pedro's pretty much said, look, it's done with me. Willian's literally, we all sort of speculated Willian's probably done, but him saying, look, this negotiations for the contract stuff is dead. It's done, man. I'm out. Cheers, Chelsea. You know, it's been fun. We've had some good times. We won titles. I won player of the season in 2016. I've got a song. You know, it's bloody wicked. Everything's cool, but I'm out. I'm out, man. I'm out. What will happen to Willian? I'm not so sure. I've discussed it on the channel before. He's pretty much said he wants to stay in Europe. He's not going to go elsewhere, like to Brazil or anything. He wants to stay in Europe. He wants to stay in London. And there's a high chance he could wind up at both. At both? At, it would be weird if he did at both. At either Tottenham or Arsenal. And although perhaps he's not a priority target for either of those teams, he's a hard-working, talented player who would be available on a free transfer. Remember that. That's the important part. So, I want to take this opportunity in this video to talk about Chelsea's wingers next season. Of course, Hakim Ziyech, let's just say Ziyech is the Pedro replacement. Now, Pedro wasn't always fourth choice, remember. In, under Antonio Conte, Pedro played over Willian. He was, you know, the PhD Pedro Hazard Diego. It was that front three. So you need to remember that he was like elite Chelsea winger and he would be his sort of position at the club was respected highly. So you could say, Ziyech is replacing Pedro. Now, who is going to replace Willian? So we have a few options, and I want to talk about those now. First off, 23-year-old Frenchman, Jérémy Boga. Yes, the young man himself, who was once of Chelsea's Cobham, is away in Syria, playing for Sassuolo, playing really, really well. Chelsea actually sold him to the Italian club. 
but he has a buyback clause of 15 million euros, about 12 million pounds for Chelsea Football Club. Bogue has 10 league goal contributions for Sir Swallow this season in Serie A with a few absolute world-class long-range goals. 10 league goal involvements is the same amount that Willian has for Chelsea. And so you could look at the productivity in terms of offensive numbers there and be, well, it's the same and he's like 10 years younger and he's going to cost 12 million pounds. A superb option and probably a really positive piece of business regardless. Even if Chelsea brought him back to sell him, which sounds quite, you know, cruel, he'd have to agree to it, of course, like all the stuff that's going on. But regardless, a really, really good opportunity is there for Chelsea Football Club to get a talented young player back who's great value. Now, Boga was so highly rated as a youngster at the Chelsea Academy. He didn't really get his chance in the first team under Conte, but he literally used to light up pitches in the academy and was one of the most highest rated players out of the lot. Next up, Jaden Sancho. Sancho is 29, Bundesliga goal involvements this season, just 21 appearances. Of course, he's absolutely exploded. One of the hottest properties in European football. And currently, at present, Manchester United are favourites to sign the young English winger who has recently turned 20. Of course, I've spoken about him on the channel before. A boyhood at Chelsea fan who's very close mates with both Tammy Abraham and Hudson Adoy. But you could understand the reasons why going to Chelsea isn't the best option for him if he is to compete with the likes of Ziyech, his close friend Hudson Adoy, Pulisic and one other. Of course if he goes to Manchester United he slots into the right wing spot immediately and a team is built around him and he can get paid you know pretty much as much money as he wants. So although unlikely apparently Chelsea are still interested in Jadon Sancho. Watch this space but don't hold your breath. Next up Philippe Coutinho. Yes I know not a winger conventionally although has played on the wing before. Basically could be an attacking forward who offers that extra piece of quality in the final third. In Frank Lampard's system there is a lot of versatility within the forwards so maybe Philippe Coutinho could be considered an option to be this sort of forward replacement with quality who drifts inside and outside from the wing and the number 10 position. Of course, Philippe Coutinho has been linked to Chelsea heavily these last few days and perhaps Chelsea Football Club and Frank Lampard are just considering him as an option to replace one of the forwards generally. Who knows? Right, a couple of other players I want to talk about that haven't really been linked to Chelsea, but I want to talk about them as potential options and just see what you guys think. First off, Samuel Chiquese, who has actually been linked to Chelsea a little bit a while ago, playing out in the Liga for Villarreal. He's a 20-year-old little superstar. He hasn't got crazy numbers, but he looks like he's got a lot to his game. Chiquese only has four league goal involvements in La Liga this season, but like I said, he's highly rated. A lot of clubs are looking at him, and perhaps Perhaps he could be that sort of other rotational player that would fit the bill at Chelsea Football Club. Who knows? I have a feeling this next one's going to be quite popular. Adama Traore. The 24-year-old Spanish tank rocket beast who plays for Wolverhampton Wanderers in the Premier League is a bit of... Oh, I don't know, some sort of mythical wonder, dude. This guy is an absolute tank. His arms are probably as big as my chest and he moves as fast as a Ferrari. At first in the Premier League, it looked like he'd just run down the wing with the ball and get lost, but he's added end product to his game. He has 11 Premier League goal contributions this season uh, in the league. That's more than Willian, obviously. And he just offers something completely different down that right flank. When everything's going wrong, you just light the fuse, send him off, and he will explode and just knock people over and then get to the byline, cut it back, dribble, cut in, try to take a shot. He can really do it all. He's also popping 5.2 dribbles per game. 5.2, that's basically on par with Lionel Messi. And he's playing for Wolves. And he's an absolute house doing dribbles. Madness. Whether he'd want to come to Chelsea, I have no idea. And whether Wolves would sell him, probably don't have to. They're probably more financially comfortable now than ever. So I'm not sure it's an option. Still, I wanted to put it to you guys and get your thoughts and opinions. So do express yourself down in the comment section below. And if you've enjoyed the content today, I appreciate if you like the video. And remember to subscribe if you have not. Also, come follow me on Instagram at Football Yannick. I'm doing lives most days in isolation. So come say hello. That's it for me. Enjoy the football that's not happening at the moment, and I will see you later. You ain't so tough with that bad boy tuck. I'ma get it how I'm living, I'ma walk the walk. 
outline my lines I rap through thought Body bag the verse, outline the chalk In my life seen trouble, hustle on the double Silence on the trigger like my pick got a muzzle Yo chick like to guzzle, bad boy stay in trouble I only love this paper, sorry I don't I let me be 